everyone, and welcome. My name is Delana Gale Bowen, and I am one of your co-hosts this evening for this special virtual broadcast of the Maple Blues Awards. I'm delighted to be joined here in White Rock, B.C., at Blue Frog Studios tonight by the renowned actor, singer, and recording artist Jim Burns, a senior member of the Vancouver Scene. So good to see you tonight, Jim. Thanks, Delana. Always great to see you. Thank you, dear. Delighted to be sharing this session with another senior member of our blues oh, community. Yeah. <laughs> and another 60s rabble rouser. That's right. Listen, I have a little housekeeping from Hama at the Toronto Blues Society. If you want to follow along with the show, you can download the program book from the TBS website. In 2020... The Toronto Blues Society celebrated its 35th anniversary as a volunteer-driven, non-profit charity. Please, consider donating directly to the TBS and help keep events like this one alive, okay? Your contribution will also generate a tax receipt right to your inbox. No fuss, no muss. Tonight, in our land acknowledgement, we want to state that we live and work on the unceded ancestral territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh nations. On behalf of all those involved with producing the Maple Blues Awards, the Toronto Blues Society supports community efforts to sustain a relationship with Indigenous peoples based on respect, dignity, trust, and cooperation. This 30-minute version of the Maple Blues Awards is going to feature performances from Liam Doherty and Lindsay Beaver, a memorial to folks we have lost and four award categories, including Blues Booster, Horn Player of the Year, and New Artist. Let's look at our first category, Male Vocalist of the Year. Right, Jim. And the nominees are going from coast to coast here, from New Brunswick to Vancouver, including you, sir. Congratulations on being nominated with some fine voices, Jim. Let's take a look at the nominees. Chuck Jackson. Harrison Kennedy. Jack DeKaiser. Jim Burns and Matt Anderson. And the winner is, thanks to Uma Ooster at the Toronto Blues Society. If I can get the envelope open. <laughs> Matt Anderson. Matt has already picked up the NBA in Acoustic Artist category. He is a fine artist and much loved, as are all the nominees. Congratulations, Matt. Let's keep the awards coming and share the results of another exciting category. Next up is the John Valentine Blues Booster Award. We don't have an envelope to open on this award as it is already the only award that's already been announced. The award was renamed to honor blues historian and broadcaster John Valentine, who we lost this past October. Hey, John. We are very happy to announce that my good friend Cindy McLeod is the John Valentine Blues Booster of the Year. Cindy McLeod is a going concern on the Calgary blues scene, producing the annual Calgary International Blues Festival, broadcasting her radio show every week, being an advocate for artists through professional development. Cindy has hidden talents as well, at least to some of us involved in blues. She had a long career in the arts as a dancer, jazz singer, recording artist. She is a true booster. You may want to stop by the video interviews she did for the National Music Center to learn more about Cindy's busy, busy career. In COVID times, that is the best we can do. Congratulations, Cindy McLeod. Right now, we have a very special performance from a new artist nominee, BC native Liam Doherty, the red-headed blues boy. <laughs> Liam has just turned 14, but caught the attention of Vancouver Island Music Fest producer Doug Cox, who helped his first release get pulled together. When we had some slightly milder weather, Doug <laughs> put a crew together to capture a cool outdoor session with Liam performing solo. Now, this will be many people's first contact with Liam, but we expect 
it will not be your last. From his debut release, Modern Magic Melody, let's hear this original tune, Wipe My Weeping Eyes. Rising is quarter to three. The rain keeps on falling, falling on me. Soaked to the bone and chilled to the core. Town clock chimes, it's quarter to three. Stuck in the Delta, there's no time to lose Three legs of truck home, singing the blues Guitar on my back, it's starting to break So now I ask what did it It's too high Too far to go, too high and dry Stay or go, it's time to choose We may have to run from these we prefer Thank you, Liam Doherty. This was a lovely tune and a really smart video production. Love those dawn shots. Next up, we're taking you to the memorial section of the night. Every year during the awards, we acknowledge the loss of our blues compatriots. And this year, we shared these tributes across each of the four broadcasts. We've seen the passing of international artists such as Peter Green, 
Henry Gray, Joseph Mojo Morganfield, Spencer Davis, Sterling McGee from Satan and Adam, and Mississippi guitarist Kern Pratt, and the great Californian Little Charlie Batty. As we remember Canadians, we wish to highlight Duris Maxwell, the remarkable drummer who played with Powder Blues for many years, also years with Bobby Taylor in the Vancouver Skylark, and he drove my bus for, for four years. He was a great friend and we'll miss him. So please listen to David Vest's Pretty Things for Annie as we scroll through their photos and remember some of the greats that we have lost this year. Thank you all for everything you've given, the lives you've lived, the music you've made. You will be missed. We have two more beautiful blue trophies to give away tonight. So, the next award will celebrate the Horn Player of the Year. The instrument categories of the Maple Blues Awards are determined by the nominating panel, which is made up of blues DJs, journalists, and organizers across the country. This panel of 54 dedicated volunteers also shaped the ballot that goes public. All the nominating panel names are listed on the TBS website, and there is also a downloadable contact document at the site for all artists and labels to use. We encourage everyone releasing a new body of work, digital, CD, or whatever, to make sure you get it out to the panel for consideration. All right. Now let's talk about the Horn nominees who hail from Montreal, Toronto, Hamilton, and Vancouver. They are all super talents, adding their flair to the projects they support. The blues wouldn't be the same without great horn players, and Canada has some of the best. The nominees for Horn Player of the Year are Jerry Cook, Mark Leclerc, Gordon Eichel, Richard Thornton, and Matt Moose Mousseau. All right, then, let's see what we got. My goodness, we have a tie, and it is a Quebec collision. Our winners are Mark Leclerc. And Matt Moose, Moose. Congratulations, Mark and Matt, or Moose. So well deserved. We've seen Moose touring with Don Tyler Watson, and we hope to see all our nominees touring when we get back on stages at festivals and clubs across the country. Congratulations, gentlemen. Quebec is doing quite well this year. Mm -hmm. Such a healthy scene. Indeed. And now the next and last category of the night is the New Artist of the Year. Sponsored by Tim Horton's Southside Shuffle Jazz and Blues Festival, the great September festival sitting at the south end of Mississauga in Port Credit. Chuck Jackson from Downchild is the artistic director. Now, have you ever played there, Delana? Hmm, Jim, are you trying to get me into trouble here on a national broadcast? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't really played much out east, but I am hoping to attend Blue Summit 10 next January and expand my horizons. Good idea. 
Maybe Chuck will see me there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the new kids on the block. Enough about us elders going on and on. <laughs> uh, the new artist category is always a refreshing category. This is where we saw the tragic win of Jason Bowie, my dear friend, just before he was struck down with a fatal heart attack. It was such a sad affair. He was a founder of White Rock Blues Society. Let's wish only the best for the folks nominated this year. They hail from Toronto, Ottawa, Hamilton, Regina, Kitchener, and Vancouver Island, the very youthful 14-year-old Liam Doherty. Let's look at this year's nominees now. Dion Taylor. Hirojo Trio, Liam Doherty, Matt Weedinger, and the Smoke Wagon Blues Band. And the winner is. Brrr, drum roll, please. Smoke Wagon Blues Band. All right. Congratulations to the Smoke Wagon crew in Hamilton. They picked up an MBA earlier for Recording and Producer of the Year for their release, The Ballad of Albert Johnson. Huma at the TBS office will be getting your trophies to you special delivery in the coming days. We have one more performance tonight, and it is a very special session from Lindsay Beaver, recorded with her trio in Dartmouth. Lindsay emerged from the Humber College Jazz Program with 24th Street Whalers and has been enjoying some really strong recognition, signing with Chicago's prestigious Alligator Records last year. She was living in Austin, Texas for a time, but is back on her home turf in Nova Scotia. You can catch her every Wednesday at the venerable Barely's House of Blues and Ribs. <laughs> Here is a new tune, not from her alligator release, Tough as Love. This is brand new music, a track called See You Again. Hey everyone, my name is Lindsay Beaver and uh, I'm really excited to be a part of this year's Maple Blues Awards online. I'm also honored to be nominated for Drummer of the Year. Uh, this next song is an original composition of mine called See You Again. Have a wonderful night.
I sure hope you do. I'm worth the wait, and all I want is you. Hey, baby, I can't wait to see you again. So please don't forget me. I'll get to you. Very cool. Indeed, we do hope to see you again, Lindsay. We hope we'll see you all again. Well, Delana, that's a wrap for the fourth and final virtual edition of the Maple Blues Awards. And we have some people to thank. We saw some credits off the top of the show, but we need to repeat that the Toronto Blues Society gratefully acknowledges government sponsors, including Factor, through the financial support of the Government of Canada and Canada's private radio broadcasters. I think it was great how this version of the show linked a half a dozen BC Blues organizations. White Rock Blues Society recommended we connect with Victoria and Nanaimo. Blue Frog folks brought in the Fraser Valley Blues Society, and we couldn't forget the Blues Booster winners over at Hornby Island. Yes, Delana. And lastly, Mel at Vancouver's Blues hey, Around Mel. Town helped get the word out. A fine example of everyone in the region helping to promote the blues. Let's also give a shout out to our crew here at Blue Frog Studios in White Rock, one of my favorite places to play. The studio has been home to some really excellent concerts. Uh, in fact, this uh, month of February has been virtual Maple Blues Awards as we have uh, streamed live concerts, uh, archived concerts, uh, Jack DeKaiser, Harp Dog Brown, Angie Forrest. And this coming Saturday, February the 27th, uh, we'll be featuring a concert from yours truly and my band of merry men. There you go. Please uh, go to bluefrogstudios.ca for all the details, time, and tickets, and I guarantee that you will not be disappointed. And as we roll the rest of the credits of everyone who helped bring tonight together... We'll enjoy a tune from the fabulous Maple Blues Band playing along. Congratulations to all the nominees, winners, and all those who helped pull this challenging show together. The tune under the credits is appropriately called, Thanks a Lot. And through the magic of digital technology, we are now going to say hello to some friends across the country who have joined us to celebrate. Check the link in the chat section on your screen right now, and we'll have one last blues Zoom and see if any folks are showing up with their trophies. It won't be quite the same as the Kerner Hall Lobby Jam, but I'm sure that there will be some friendly faces. Good night to Lana and to everyone who tuned in coast to coast to coast, all the ships at sea, and we look forward to seeing you at the Blue Summit 10 or at a blue show in the post-COVID times. Those times can't come soon enough. So in the meantime and in between times, stay safe, stay sane, and keep the faith, baby. <laughs>